In today's video, I'm talking about the best three stocks you can invest $1,000 in and not have to worry about for the rest of your life because in the long run, they are going to make you money. I'm going to break this video down into three must-own categories. Number one, long-term proven winners with solid steady returns. Number two, dividend stocks for steady cash flow. And number three, high growth and high risk but worth it. In each category, I'm going to give you two stocks to choose from and I'm not making this video to pump up my portfolio because I already own all of the stocks that we are covering today. I simply believe these are great companies to own for the long term. I'm going to give you a fundamental breakdown of the stocks, tell you why I like them, and then I'll show you the charts for when I would look to buy them. But before we cover today's stocks, let's go over a few of my trade alerts and winning trades from Discord. We can now see a lot of our channels on the left hand side and we're currently in trade alerts. Yesterday we sold a YPF out of the money covered call and this is wheel strategy step three and YPF is a low cost stock. We've been making a lot of money with it and it's one that I love and it's also small account friendly. If our call is not executed, we get an annualized ROI of 161.8%. And then we've got a breakdown here for the wheel. Total wheel profits, if closed, would be $142. Our total ROI on YPF would be 12.35%. And our annualized ROI would work out to 321.9%. Next up, I did a Tesla out of the money cash secured put yesterday. Everything is broken down. Our strategy, we even go into explaining why I'm doing another Tesla put. We've got charts, breakdowns, everything you can imagine right here. And we go into a lot of detail, but I understand on an expensive stock like Tesla, not everybody has $20,000 for a cash secured put. So what do we do? Well, you can turn this into a bull put credit spread. We go over that strategy right here, what you need to sell, break it down. And in another channel, we actually uh, show more detail on this as well as an iron condor spy that we could have done yesterday. And then I want to close right now on a trade alert from Peggy, one of our moderators. I'm definitely a beginner in options, but I read virtually everything on Tesla and Elon Musk. And news out last night that their Tesla factory in Germany has already exceeded their numbers of cars produced per week to $4,000 and I want to cover a trade alert from Peggy Ann. She's a great investor, although she is just now getting into options. So here it is. Trade alert. I'm definitely a beginner in options, but I read virtually everything on Tesla and Elon Musk. And news out last night that their Tesla factory in Germany has already exceeded their number of cars produced per week to 4,000 cars. And she goes on with some of the things that are happening on Tesla. And then, wow. That said, I'm testing my skill at options on all the options Jerry is posting concerning Tesla. I believe in that company and I'm holding a bunch of shares. And if I'm forced to buy more playing options, those will only go up too. If you are nervous like me about any new strategies, my advice is to try out the strategy using a stock that you know and love. It will make more sense to you in trying to understand the direction of the play. So that's some great advice in a few of our trade alerts from yesterday. And yesterday was kind of a boring red day on the market, but let's go over a couple of the winning trades that we pulled. We've got Beach Bums, played the trend today, made 24%. Next up, we've got uh, Beach Bums again, quick scalps for the day on the SPY, a 35% profit as well as an 18% profit. We've got O Interline, Iron Condor expired for 100% profits. Now this was an Iron Condor that we went over in another channel. We broke everything down, what to buy, what to sell, 100% profits there. We've got Merco, 50% gain on SPY, put credit spreads. And then we've got Reeks Havoc with a CPA options, that's Copa Airlines for a 50.87% profit. Well done, guys. This is what we do in my private Discord. And if you want all of our trading alerts and help from our awesome community, then join us in Discord. I really believe we've got one of the best Discords out there and you can see the results. If you want to join, I put the link in the description down below. So if you were going to invest $1,000 into a few companies and come back in a few years, this is where I would put my money. And you will notice that all of these are profitable companies that are expected to grow their revenues over the next five years. 
We're going to start by looking at the fundamentals on these stocks because we really want to make sure they've got strong fundamentals because this is a long-term investment for us. We're going to start by looking at our long-term proven winners and we're going to compare Berkshire Hathaway to Google. Next for dividends, we're going to be comparing Coca-Cola to JEPQ and this is an ETF so I don't have the data on that but I do want to show you what JEPQ looks like. It is from JP Morgan. It is their premium income ETF and they've got a 12.5% dividend yield and here we can come down and see what their history has been. I mean they've been paying dividends very well so this is a high dividend yield ETF something definitely worth considering. And then for our high growth stocks, we're going to be comparing Tesla to Airbnb. Now, the first thing I want to look at is the income statement. And this tells us whether or not the companies are making money. And on this, for long-term stocks, I always want there to be an operating margin greater than 10%. So we can see Berkshire Hathaway is 31.49%. They're the winner on the day. We've got Google at 26.46%, both very strong. Coca-Cola, nice operating margin of 28%. And then we've got Tesla at 16.97% and Airbnb at 22.51%. Next up, we've got the net income margin and obviously the higher the better. And these numbers are impressive. Berkshire Hathaway, 25.32%. Google, 21%. Coca-Cola, 22%. Tesla, 15%. And I expect Tesla's number to go up considerably over the next couple of years. And we also have Airbnb at 22.53%. Same thing with Airbnb. Next, let's scroll on down to the balance sheet. And this tells us whether or not the companies are financially stable. And here we want to make sure they've got more assets than liabilities. And to do that, we use what I call the tattle ratio. And this is where we compare the total assets to the total liabilities. And we always want that ratio to be above one. So for Berkshire Hathaway, they're coming in at 2.16. Google, 3.35, both very strong. Coca-Cola, 1.39. Tesla, very strong at 2.26. And Airbnb, 1.53. Now with the beast mode, anything that I think is really important is highlighted in blue. So if we look at the key performance metrics, all of these are blue. So revenue growth last year, Berkshire Hathaway, 24%. Google, a little lower at 10%. Coca-Cola, 11%. Tesla, 51%, Airbnb, 40%. So remember how we said Tesla and Airbnb are our high growth companies? Well, here you can see that high growth with the revenue growth. And this is really expected to continue for Airbnb. They finally were profitable year over year. The pandemic is over, so great things are happening for them. For free cash flow margin, this is a really important metric. And free cash flow measures a company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money generated through current operations. We always want that number to be positive. And Berkshire Hathaway, they're at 7.37. Not only that, they're sitting on a boatload of cash and they always have cash reserves ready. We've got Google at 21%, Coca-Cola at 22%, Tesla 9.28%, Airbnb, very impressive at 40%. The rule of 40 indicator, this is a great item to look at for growth. All of these companies are doing very well and our biggest one here is Airbnb. We've got my FNR indicator and that's one where I just simply look at a few things. I wanna know what the free cash flow is, the net income margin and the revenue growth over the last 12 months. We simply sum that up and the bigger that number, the better. And our winner on the day here is gonna be Airbnb at 103, but we can see all of these guys are coming in very well above 50 and then our book value ratio, the higher that number, the better, and Berkshire Hathaway, they're very asset rich, so they're the winner in this category. Next, we wanna come down here and we wanna take a look at the net income growth. We can see Berkshire Hathaway, 111%. Google, they were actually down 21%. Coca-Cola was down 2.3%, Tesla 128%, and Airbnb, they were on fire at 638%. And then the last thing I wanna show you guys is the revenue growth forecast. Berkshire Hathaway, 9.2%, Google or Alphabet, 5.9%, Coca-Cola is 4.3%, Tesla, 25.3%, and Airbnb, 14.3%. Now that we've seen the fundamentals, let's take a look at the charts. And even though we are looking to buy for the long term, we still want to use technical analysis to see if it makes sense to buy right now or to wait for a better opportunity to get in. 
For example, if the stock is currently a falling knife, it would be better to wait for a bounce or an uptrend to start. And as always, if you like videos like these, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and ring that notification bell if you want to learn more from my channel in the future. First up, we've got Berkshire Hathaway and Warren Buffett. When we look at the stock, we can see it's been trading sideways in a range between roughly 321 and about $297. And what I want to draw your attention to is this yellow line. And this is what's called the point of control. And just real quick on that, I've done some videos on it in the last week. You can check those videos out if you want. But this tells us where the big money has positioned themselves. And right now they're at 308. So anything under 308, I like. And if we come down and look at my indicator, we also have a squeeze alert going on, although our momentum is currently down. I love to get in at these time frames, and I actually had a put yesterday. Uh, order placed, didn't get filled, but I am looking to pick up more Berkshire Hathaway for those that are interested. And let's take a look at our next stock. For Google, we can see they're in a downtrend. This white line is the 200-day moving average. The blue is the 20, and the red is the 50, and the price is below all three. And in the last six months, their low was 83.34, and they're trading down right now at about $90. So they are definitely currently in a downtrend, and that makes this more of a high-risk stock. So if you were bottom fishing and liked Google as a high-conviction stock, you could definitely consider buying it now, although you might wait for this trend to turn up a little bit. For our dividend stocks, we're now looking at Coca-Cola, ticker KO. And looking at the chart here, we can see they are trading sideways and they're just below all of their different moving averages. And now with Coke, this chart does not look that exciting. But again, we're not expecting great things from Coke. It's a conservative play. We'll get paid dividends along the way and I don't think you're going to get hurt. We can see the point of control right now is right about where the price is. So that's a real plus and it would be a safe time to get in the stock in my humble opinion. Of course, you want to do your own due diligence and draw your own conclusions, that's Coca-Cola. And here we've got JEPQ. They've got a monthly dividend. I like that. Our point of control is right now $43.14. Anything under that would be a good buy. And as long as this stock trades sideways, we've got a 12.5% dividend. That would be awesome. Definitely one to consider and you could get in right now. Have no problem with that. And again, I own all of the stocks that we're covering today. So you guys know that I like these stocks for the long term. For our high growth stocks, we're now looking at Tesla. And in one week, they're up 4.2%, one month, 15.6%, two months, 89%, which is crazy, and over three months, 12%. Now, it does look like they've hit a bottom here at 101.81 and they're starting to come up. Ideally, we'd like to see the price above all three of the different moving averages. And we want these stacked with the blue over the red and the red over the white. So we're getting closer. It might be a little bit of an early entry. Now, this is a high conviction stock for me, so I I'm okay with that. And also, if you want my indicators, I've got a free trial for those. The link is down below. For Tesla, we also have our point of control right now, which is 195. And that's another reason why I'm so big on this stock. And I think now is a safe time to acquire it. All the big money is in at this level. And that point of control, that's also an indicator you can get on either Think or Swim or TradingView. Both of them have a great free indicator to use. And last but not least, we've got Airbnb. Looking at the chart, looks like they have found a bottom at 81.91 and they're trading up. Over the last three months, they're up 26%. They recently announced earnings and they crushed earnings. Uh, they were expected 27 cents and they came in at 48 cents. So a very good earnings report. It shot up. A pullback is very common. Now it's starting to go sideways. Our point of control here is much lower. I do like this stock for the long term. Definitely one to consider. And our moving averages are almost stacked. So we could have a very good buy signal. If you wanted to wait a little longer for this to go sideways and those moving averages to come up, I would completely understand that. Or if you use my indicators, just wait for green on green and a buy signal. Here are my top three picks for investing $1,000 and letting it ride for a few years. Number one, for long-term proven winners with solid steady returns, go with Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway. If you compare the compounded annual gain of Berkshire Hathaway to the S&P 500, Warren Buffett has doubled the S&P 500's return and averaged an annual return of 19.8% and that's over seven decades. He's one of the richest men in the world for a reason. To put that in perspective, if you invested $1,000 in 1965 in Berkshire Hathaway and averaged a 19.8% return, it would now be worth over $35 million. 
Woo! At number two, for dividend stocks for steady cash flow, I would go with Coca-Cola. Now this was a tough decision, but if you have limited funds, I would stay conservative and go with Coke because it has a proven track record. Now I also own JP Morgan's JEPQ and the 12.5% dividend yield is nice. So that's an option, although I consider it a little riskier. And number three, for high growth, high risk, but worth it, I would go with Tesla. Now, anytime you are going for high growth stocks, you have to be prepared for a roller coaster ride. And in the last six months, Tesla is down over 30% and at one point was down 70%. So if you can't stomach the ups and downs, then skip high growth stocks like Tesla and Airbnb or only invest an amount you are prepared to lose. And if you are looking to buy Tesla, I believe anything under $200 is going to look like a steal in three to five years. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with my stock picks today. As always, have a phenomenal rest of your day. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, grab your free stocks from Moomoo and Weeble, and don't forget to try my indicators for free. The links are down below and my trade alerts are in my Discord. Thank you so much for watching and I'd love to see you back here on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you soon. Peace.